just kidding hello hello everybody and welcome to my channel my name is Caitlin if you haven't already visited my channel before um today I am doing a haul of every single little item that I have for my dog that I'm getting next weekend next weekend my fiance and I are flying to Iowa from Reno Nevada to pick up our miniature golden doodle f1b named moose and i literally could not be more excited i feel like i have a legitimate son on the way and <laughs> he better just be prepared for all my love and obsession with him without further ado let me get started i will definitely put links down for everything that i can link you know i do have some items that I just found at random stores, so I probably won't be able to do those, but I will link everything that I can, and if you are as extra as I am, you'll probably love some of this stuff too. So, first things first, and I'm not going in any particular order of anything, I literally just have two different buckets of stuff for Moose, and I'll show you everything. So we have this little dog for him, it kind of resembles Moose actually, the coloring, with a little heartbeat, babe. Why are you playing noise in the background? Alrighty, so we have this little doggy, a little stuffed animal dog that kind of resembles Moose's color. We thought maybe it reminded him of, his him of his brothers and sisters and we take him away from them. So sad to think about, but he has a little heartbeat that we can turn on. So we thought that it would be nice for Moose to have this on the plane ride home because it'll be a really like long day of travel like eight or nine hours he'll be in his little soft-sided crate so we thought that this would be a nice little free friend for him to have since he'll definitely be missing his brothers and sisters we have a few leashes so this was garrett's leash that he chose i'm extra so i wanted a completely different leash i thought that this was the absolute cutest thing in the world so I got him this super cute leash. I definitely got this on Amazon. Yeah, I got a lot of this stuff on Amazon. And then this leash also just came with one of the harnesses that we also got on Amazon. Cute little blue plaid one. And then we got him this harness that goes with that little leash. We got him this sweater from actually a local dog store, which is why I wouldn't be able to link this because I don't even remember the name of the store or if they have a website for online shopping. But this is perfect. I think it will definitely fit him since he's the runt. And he's pretty small. What is this? This is a size small. So I thought this was really cute because it kind of matches his color and it has that cute little you know, baby blue in there. And I thought that this would be nice to help keep him warm on the plane ride home since it tends to get kind of cold on planes. And then we have this cute little stuffed animal moose for moose. Little <coughs> squeaky toy. Where did we get this one? I want to say TJ Maxx, possibly. We have a brush for moose. It's a really nice chi, like the brand they make for humans. Brush, it's kind of cool. It like moves with the, the dog, you know. Um, but it's really nice. It'll be really good. We can definitely just use this on him every single day. We have yet another harness, which we got at, gosh, it was Petco or PetSmart. So I'm going to have to figure it out and link it for you guys. But it's really cute because it matches his name tag that I'll show you guys. But this little harness, we definitely went overboard and bought so many harnesses and leashes and outfits. But that's just who we are. We're just so excited for our son. And then we have this little portable doggy feeder. Um, I got this on Amazon. I thought it was so cool. You can put the food in here and then water in here, carry it around like this, and then take that out, you know, unscrew the top, put some food in there for him, feed it to him out of here. And then you can like switch the setting on here to let water flow out from here and then he can sip out of this like a little water fountain which i thought was so cool i'm super excited to use that for moosey all righty then i got him this absolutely adorable little donut from a brand called zippy paws because i'm obsessed with donuts they are my absolute favorite and i thought that moose would appreciate a donut too and this is a little squeaky toy as well 
Garrett chose this toy for him from this local pet store. So I won't be able to link this one, but it's a nice like sturdy, kind of like tug of war device. Moose is definitely gonna be too small to play with this when we get him, but I'm sure he will grow into it and just absolutely love it. What else? Oh my gosh, this one is like my favorite one. This is a little mango white claw. And I'm so happy that I found this because you don't always get the mango flavor in stores, but I found this at TJ Maxx and the mango flavor white claw is my favorite white claw um, in real life. Um, so I thought, Moosey might like it too, but this is yet another little squeaky toy, which Garrett is already annoyed by me squeaking them, but I am gonna love hearing it because anything Moose does is just gonna be the cutest thing in the world. And we have a little matching collar that came with this little um, harness leash set. This cute little blue teething bone. I'm definitely gonna bring this for him to play with and chew on on the plane ride home. I think this would be nice and definitely his speed. It's nice and small like he is. I think it's just so cool. I think it's supposed to be like chicken flavored and I think we got this it was either Petco or PetSmart. We can literally find it anywhere. Um, Garrett got him this cool little Kong. You can put treats in here, food, peanut butter for him. If that's good for him, we shall see. Um, and I think this will be a fun time. I just know like every dog has one of these. They're super cute. And it's so funny, like you see a lot of blue things. Garrett was like, why does everything have to be blue? And I'm like, because baby's a precious baby boy. Everything has to be blue. It's just the color of little baby boy love, you know? If we have a little baby boy, his nursery is probably going to be blue. I just, I just love like the pastel pinks and blues for babies, even if it's a baby puppy. Um, and then this is an actually uh, a really cool toy. It's like this ball and you can put food inside and then the puppies can like roll it around to get the food out. So just kind of prolong the enjoyment of their meal. Maybe put treats in there. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Garrett picked this one out. I will have to see where he got it from. Probably Amazon. Let me take a sip of my energy drink. I'm really exhausted today. It's been a long, fun day. Um, but now I'm drinking this Alani Cherry Slush. It's my absolute favorite. It's the only flavor of Alani energy drink that I like. Kind of like the Blue Slush, but the, the Cherry Slush is my ultimate favorite. And I think it tastes the absolute best. I don't usually like to drink these really ever because they have so much caffeine, but Garrett said he would split it with me, so I'm gonna drink half and then give him the other half, and then that's like the equivalent of a strong cup of coffee. Uh, so good, I'm sure there's so many crazy chemicals in here though. Anyway, got this KU baby toy. I want to say I got this from TJ Maxx but I honestly can't remember. So I'll have to check my Amazon cart. I think everything we got either came from TJ, Petco, PetSmart, or Amazon, but majority from Amazon, super cute. It's like a real baby toy, gets me in the spirit. And then two more collars. We have this cute little light blue one that I found. Um, I think it's so pretty. I just, like I said, love the pastel pink. And then I also found this one after buying multiple other harnesses and collars at Petco, I believe, um, like two weekends ago. And I just thought it was so precious. And this was when we were realizing that we were falling in love with a runt. And so I realized we might need a smaller collar than anything that we have. So I found this adorable little bow tie collar and it is so small and so precious. And I just cannot wait to take photos of moose in it. And then we have this cute little toy basket. I searched Amazon far and wide to find him the perfect size toy basket that matched the aesthetic of our apartment. So we got this nice ivory, you know, off-white colored toy basket, which holds all of his toys perfectly. And then it'll look nice in our living room, of course. And then we got him some PP pads which we shouldn't really need to use because he's being potty trained um, at the farm that he's being grown up on and or the farm that he's being, yeah, the farm that he's growing up on in Iowa. And he, he goes potty outside on the grass. The breeders have reported that, you know, like all most of their past customers 
only report a couple of accidents with their puppies after taking them home, but that they acclimate very quickly. So we're gonna have these just in case. And then also like in the car and maybe in his stroller when we're on the go with him, just in case he has to go before he's fully vaccinated and has an accident or something. But we did create this grass patch for our patio that I will show you guys later in this video for him to potty train him on before he's fully vaccinated and we can take him outside. So we have these just in case, but hopefully we are not going to have to use too many of them. We got these really cool bells. We have one hung up right now, which I'll show you, but um, we put it on the sliding glass door so that Missy can learn to ring the bell you know, when he has to go potty so we can open the door and let him outside. And I had seen a bunch of other bells on Amazon. That's where I got this. But this one was just the most aesthetic. I thought it was so cute. And it was funny because like a week or two prior to buying this, Garrett had seen something similar to this without the bells at TJ Maxx. And he's like, what is that for? And I was like, oh, you know, just kind of like cute garland decor. And then I had just been thinking about garland decor. And then I came across this and I thought, wow, perfect. We're getting some decor and some use out of it. So Moose can learn how to ring this. And then we can put it on the front door when he's older so he can let us know when he has to go outside, um, which I don't know if that'll be completely necessary because we'll probably have a nice pool and pee schedule for him, but maybe just in case. Also, it is a cute decoration. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is what I have been waiting for to show you guys. I think it's my absolute favorite thing that I got him. I got him this name tag, especially made on Etsy literally before we even knew he was conceived by his mom and that's just part of the manifestation process i think like i did many things that were preparing for him and making that space for him and inviting that excited energy into my life before he was even conceived to help manifest the process quicker and it definitely worked i mean we got on the wait list new year's eve of 2022 she was pregnant by February and she had him by the end of the March end of the March end of March so I feel like that was a pretty quick turnaround and by the time we pick him up it will have only been a five month waiting process from start to finish and that is pretty quick in the world of um, getting dogs from breeders I would say but let me show you this it is the most precious little what is this called like a little reason um yeah little reason name tag moose so that's why i got him too all these cute little blue harnesses and stuff because i thought it would be so cute on top so i literally can't wait for him to wear this it wouldn't look cute with his bow tie but maybe i'll do this and pack another collar for him to wear this and just take pictures of both poor little moose he's gonna be so tired of being my model i am sorry in advance moose but i just love you so freaking much already then one last thing for this little bin of stuff. Garrett also got him yet another leash. So we have every single type of leash under the sun right now. And we'll see what works best with Moose. This is one of my favorite things for him. It is a little car booster seat. And it basically straps in right here to the car. This goes above uh, where you place your head on the seat. And then it has a little cord on the inside that attaches to Moose's harness so that, you know, if we have to stop abruptly or anything in the car, he won't go flying. He might just bounce up a bit, but this will literally keep him attached to the seat, attached to the car seat, and he won't go flying or anything like that. I can't even count how many times I've been in my mom's car. She stops abruptly and her dog literally goes flying. And that is just the last thing that I want for Moose. I don't want him to be scared of the car. I also don't want him to be crawling into my lap while I'm driving, which is super dangerous, which is something that my mom's dog does. So he will be restricted to this. And then we also have like a back seat cover for when he's bigger and fully developed and won't be hurt from flying across the car um, for the back seat to keep him in the back seat comfortably um, when he gets older. Okay, let me get more stuff. So this is a super special one. We found him, <clears throat> this dog bowl set on Amazon. However, it was like in a lighter bamboo colored wooden stand. And the cabinets in our apartment are dark stained. I mean, they're not even real wood, but dark stained whatever. And so is my table. And yeah, that's about it. 
but I just wanted the wood to match the style of the apartment that we already have. So we ordered this on Amazon, this set, and Garrett stained it and he did such a beautiful job. It's literally perfect. And then we added these little things to the bottom um, so that they wouldn't slip around. So just stays put. And we have those dog bowls for him. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorites too. What isn't my favorite? I love all of this stuff. But I got him this at, gosh, I want to say it was Petco, maybe PetSmart. I just don't know which one is which, but I'm sure they have them everywhere. To take Moose's paw print and then hang it up on the Christmas tree. So I'm literally going to take his paw print on here like the second day that we have him home. I'm not going to mess with him right when we bring him home at 11 o'clock at night when he's tired and irritable and still adjusting to us but i'm definitely taking this the second day that he's home letting it dry out maybe even hanging it up somewhere around here before christmas because i'm just going to want to look at it because i love him so much my mom got us these nail grinders or a nail grinder nail trimmer thingy for him I actually have not even opened it yet yep sure have not but see what this is all about oh well that's so cool it kind of like buzzes his toenail to shave it down instead of actually clipping them and possibly hurting them so that's really cool thanks mom I don't know where she got this from but I mean you can literally find all of this stuff online in Amazon I'm sure what else do we have just a couple more things. So this was that seat cover that I was talking about. This one's called Kalulu Happy Pets. It is what you put um, in between your back seat and your trunk to just keep him out of the front seat and keep him from flying through the windshield or anything. That'll be for when he's a little bit more grown up and has outgrown the booster seat. We got this adorable little keychain poo poo bag holder. It'll be super cute. We can clip it on the stroller, on our keys, you know, my fanny pack that I like to walk outside with. And it's super cute, it's a little latte. That was Petco or PetSmart. This is probably actually, and I know I've said every single item is my favorite. This is probably my absolute favorite item. Um, this is the carrier that we will be carrying him um, on the flight with. So he's gonna be sitting underneath the seat right in front of us in this should be perfect. This part right here, unzip so he can poke his little head out, not be lonely the whole flight. So that'll be really nice, but it's a soft sided carrier. We got size medium, which is airline approved on everything. Um, it's the Sherpa dog carrier. We had originally bought it at Petco, but we realized soon after that on Amazon, it was less than half the price. So I wanna say it was $35 on Amazon and like $74 at Petco. So we returned it to Petco or PetSmart, whichever one, and ordered it on Amazon. But it has this nice little fur lining in here for him. Like I said earlier, we're gonna put a little sweater on him. There was a little stuffed animal in here. And then also put the blanket with his brother and sister set, um, provided from the breeder in there as well. So he can be as calm as possible on the flight. I just love this. I think it's the cutest little thing ever. Okay, now let's get to showing the stroller, the grass pad, the bell that we currently have hung up, and then I will um, show you his cage with his bed, and then I'll post a, a photo or a clip of his little doggy pin that we have that's just not set up right now, and I don't plan on setting it up again until a few days before he comes home. But yeah, let's get to it. Alrighty, so here's Moose's cage. It's gonna sit right here in our living room most likely. But how cute is that? It had their little brand name on there and Garrett tore off the sticker and made this little magnet with Moose's name on it. It's just the cutest thing freaking ever. So now Moosey has his own little personalized cage. That's his nice little memory foam doggy bed. It's really cool because we can take the cover off and wash it. Um, and then this cage also has a little divider to put in to divide so that he doesn't have too much room to make a mess in there. 
until he grows into it. But we got the cage on Amazon and the dog bed on Amazon. And then we have, like I had shown you already, the other little beaded bells. But this is the one that we have on our sliding screen door right now because it kind of matches, you know, like the tan vibe of everything. And then here is Mrs. Grass. The lighting is pretty bad. But what we did is we took a pan that goes underneath the washer, you know, in case it leaks, and then bought an $8 roll of sod, and then Garrett cut the sod to fit this. We have had this grass out here for like three weeks now, I wanna say. It was yellow originally, and now it is thriving. So, super cool thing to have so Moosey can still have grass that he's used to. And then here is Moose's freaking incredible stroller. How cool is this? It is such a good quality stroller. It gives me the vibes of like an actual baby stroller, which is incredible. It's like such good quality. These wheels can literally just roll over anything. Gravel, grass, dirt. Regular ground, obviously, such good quality. Just love it so much. We got this on Amazon. It was a little pricey for a puppy that won't be using it very long, but I'm super good at selling things on Facebook Marketplace, so I figured I could just resell it when we were done. It was $200 on Amazon, but you can just unzip this right here. And then Moosey can just visit with me while we're walking. Let me finish unzipping it. How cool is that? It's literally like a real life baby bassinet. You could just push him around if you wanted, back and forth. It's a little baby rocker. You can put this side down too. If he just wants to stick his whole head out of everything. There's some space at the bottom to carry some stuff. Or we could even unzip this right here so he could get some air here and stick his head out here. But it's literally just the coolest stroller ever. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And I cannot wait to walk Moose every single day in this until he is fully vaccinated and safe to walk outside with other doggies. And then I thought I would just show you guys this again because I saw that it didn't get captured very well in the last video. But this is his little handmade from Etsy little raisin keychain. I will have to attach the link to it on Etsy for you. Whoever did this did such an amazing job and I honestly want to get him more different colors in the future. This was definitely part of my manifestation process for Moose, just getting me excited about him before we even knew he was conceived, and I will always treasure this. Well, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on today's vlog for my little Moosey haul. Um, next weekend, like I said at the beginning of the video, is the weekend that we're getting our precious little Moosey. And I am going to vlog every second of the trip from the time we leave our apartment to the time we get home and literally everything in between. So definitely stay tuned for next week's video to join Garrett and I on that adventure, picking up our son, Moose. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, like, and comment what breed of dog you have if you don't have one. I mean, if you do have one. Um, and yeah, we look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Mwah.